Um, so I do a little warm up now because just first days, uh, first note of the day. So I just do some notes. favorite warm-ups are this one and now I did quick um, um, uh, this uh, exercise what Claudio Montafia one of my main teacher in Italy and uh, students and pupil of Sir James Galway um, and he teach me how can sing inside the flute you know with uh, this flute sound how we can sing and um, it is a good arpeggio to start the day I think going to the low B and and of course one of his inspiration you know, one of my inspiration and everybody has I think and um, is the warm-up uh, written by James Goldwyn this uh, very nice beautiful melody uh, written um, um, like a variation of the famous semitone of the sonorite by Moise you know? In uh, each this exercise, we need to be alive, like I said before, and with a great sound and expressivo sound as soon as possible. So from the very the very beginning, the very start of each note, we have to create music. Actually, so each note that we produce in this flute, even if it's the first note of the day, we have to try to imagine that it's music already, and so expressivo um, with a great light in the sound, open sound, brightness, and uh, with a good uh, richness of harmonics inside. So you can feel all the body and all the structure of the good in tune harmonics inside one singular sound. And of course, to have uh, soon this uh, life in the sound, you probably have to pass um, uh, you have to go through some problems um, at the beginning when I tried to do this, uh, when I was young, uh, I gave accent. So the problem was that, no? <laughs> to be soon live, you create accent. <laughs> then I try to avoid this, and because we have not to start with accent, but subito, soon in a mezzo forte, or cantabile forte, dolce forte, no? So, uh, the next problem could be to draw up the sound after the start. That is also a mistake because we, we don't want to, to push uh, this sound. No? So we don't want to create a crescendo inside the sound, but soon, as soon as possible, uh, alive. So avoid this crescendo, but avoid also accent. So one idea could be, think really like a little river, uh, a little river of water. You see, um, you see this river in, in, a, in a, I don't know, <laughs> in a camp. Um, so this river has the water that always goes, always goes. And sometime um, from a tree, Fall, fall down a leaf 
and this leaf soon is in contact with the water. The water is continuing to go and we can imagine this is our air and the leaf starts to go with the water at, at the moment of the attack. We can imagine the sound is the leaf and the, the contact moment leaf and, and the water is the attack of the tongue. So it's very sweet somehow, but very uh, definite, very clear the, that moment. So, and the leaf follow the, uh, the river. So actually the air and the sound, we can imagine it's always there. Somewhere in the universe, <laughs> it's always there. We just have to create this sound um, to permit everybody to listen it, but it's already here. For that reason, I spoke about the model, ideal model, and create our our best ideal to imitate. Because we have we have to to be clear. Uh, so in our mind, must be clear already the sound, the vibrato amount, the the speediness of the of the air to produce that. And when this leaf arrives, we just create the sound. So the sound is already in the air. You just take <laughs> the train running, no? You take inside, you go inside the train during its, uh, its running. So this is an imagine, you can think really what you want, but the main thing is that the sound and the more uh, more important instrument the main instrument is your brain 